Hello, this is Morgan Kinney and Carly Osen reporting live from the Pink Pony. We are currently awaiting our first finishers. We have Il Mostro coming in. They are coming in at a hot 1.6 knots in a total of 2.6 knots of breeze. <laughs> It is quite intense. Right behind them, creeping up at a faster pace, is WinQuest at 3.2. Then we have Equation. Equation, you keep sneaking in there. I don't know how you do it, but we're going to talk to you when you get to the dock. Arite, our famous onboard reporters from Arite. I know you are following us on Facebook and our social media updates. So shout out to you. Thank you for reposting all that information. You are cruising along at 5.2 knots. Cheers to you if you can catch up. Then we've got Defiance. Defiance, you are first in Cruising Mac Trophy. Or, yeah, sorry. You are first in Chicago it's Mac late. Trophy. It's it late. It is late. <laughs> it is 1.15 in the morning. This is way past our bedtimes, but we are here bringing you this information. Like I said, we are doing this for the fans. So let's actually move back to Fines. Congratulations, you are doing well in corrected time. Morgan, I don't know about you, but this is turning into a real nail biter for those of us that have been following closely. It seems to be back and forth and back and forth, and the boats are just arriving on the other side of the bridge. It'll really come down to who can catch that last minute breeze. Just keep in mind though, According to the reports, there is more breeze on the south side of that bridge than there is on the north side by us. However, we are doing our best to fill our time, and we are talking to all the locals hanging out here at the Pink Pony. But let's actually check in with a couple of the other fleets down south. If you remember earlier in the race, the question was, as it always is every year, will the boats go around the Manitous or will they go inside the Manitous? It looks like earlier in the race, it looked as though, if you remember, Roxy was smoking the rest of the fleet, relatively, when they went around the Manitous. Current updates show, though, that most of the fleet is deciding going to in the Manitous, showing that wind might be more on their side by making that decision. So let's see, we've got 3.3 knots on the inside. We have, let's see, 5.1 knots on the outside though. So you never know, people who are going outside, they could be taking a flyer and come in just ahead of the fleet on the inside. Spirit Walker, you're doing well. You are in first place for your section. Last year they took the trophy home. Will it happen again this year? We'll see. And if you notice here, one last update before we, we wrap it up for this one and wait for the boats to come in. Notice the Twitter icons throughout the race. You can follow several of the boats, as we've mentioned earlier before, on their journey to Mackinac Island from Chicago, 333 miles. Their minute-by-minute -minute or day-by-day -day updates as they see fit are available to you on Twitter. One last shout out to Endeavor and our CYC Race to Mackinac Chairman, Matt Gallagher. Sounds like he's been sitting by the Manitous for quite some time. Maybe he needs to feed those sleeping bears some honey and cookies to get past them all right. Hopefully you get up here soon, Matt. We're waiting for you. Good luck.